Hello and welcome to this rebalancing class. I'm Manu and I teach my students how to release emotions through movement. So let's do just that today. We begin right away standing about hip width distance apart. And how you can measure exactly what your hip distance is, is that you place one foot across the other and measure exactly one foot distance here and this is going to be the absolute best setup for any balancing poses that you might be doing because your bones are wonderfully stacked up on each other and you're gonna reap the benefits of the extra balance you gain from that so as soon as you find your nice hip width distance pose we're gonna slowly begin by joining the breath and the body together and first face your palms towards the earth here the floor if you're at your own home feel free to close your eyes for this practice of visualization that's really gonna help you establish a solid balance in the class we're about to do together so as you're standing here soft but connected Imagine their roots coming down from your feet into the earth. Imagine that these roots are starting at the soles of your feet and spreading wide and deep into the earth, connecting you to the balancing power that you have within you. You cannot tumble, you cannot fall, you're always connected. And now imagine the same thing is happening from the palms of your hands. You're establishing four points of contact here, strong, connected and secure. The roots coming out of the soles of your feet and from the palms of your hands straight down to the earth. And use this time of visualization to arrive in this practice which is all about reconnecting to the balance we have within us, even though we might have experienced negative experiences, emotions, something that threw us off balance. So this is your time to come back into your body, to tap into the energy of balance that you have within you and to realign. And slowly, with the next in-breath, shift your weight to your left foot and slowly start lifting up your right foot off of the ground until your knee comes in line with your hip here. Hold and slowly release. Now shift your weight into the right foot. So let's repeat, lifting up with the breath and feeling that stability. Releasing down on the out breath. Lift up and release. Find your balance here. Gently waking up your system, your body and introducing it to the balances that we're gonna be doing in this class. Keep those roots going down into the earth as you lift up the opposite leg. And go very, very slow here. Well done, last time, release back down, reconfirm those roots, find your stability once again, and on the next breath in, lift up the right knee here. And as you're up, hinge from the hips into your airplane pose or warrior three as you like to call it. Open up your arms for stability here, keep your left like strong, secure, and rooted to the ground. And slowly come back to the front. Feel free to place the right foot on the floor. If it's too 
much for you. If not, feel free to also keep the foot hovering above the floor at all times. We'll repeat this four more times. Lift up into airplane. Push back the right foot, open up. Strong, secure, focus your gaze. Know that you have the power to align your own body, your own energy here. No matter how shaky, how insecure your body feels right now, we're here to work on that. And release. Lift that breath in, sinking the breath with the movement. Breath out, push the leg, the foot away from you. and bring it back in. Feel those roots coming out into the earth from the left foot. Lift up. Open up the body, stretch it in two directions here. Let your foot wobble, but feel those roots. Come back to center. One last time. You might be feeling your shin on fire, your ankle on fire. Let that happen in your body. Notice those sensations. Notice how it feels like in your body to fight for balance. And fight for it. Use that power you have within you to go through the challenge, push through it, and know that you can find stability. You can find the balance no matter how hard it is for you at this moment. Let's lift up the left leg, using your hands as well to guide your energy. And on the out breath, push back. Again, feeling the roots strongly from the right foot. Swing back gently to center and go sinking with the breath. Let's lift up and release. Maybe you can now start going a bit faster with your breath. Breath in, bring in the knee up to your hip and push it back. Keep fighting for that space, for that stability. Notice how much work your right leg is doing right now. And how it's able to hold up your whole body and navigate this pose. One last time, push back. Strong warrior. Bring back the foot and place it on the floor here. Well done. Let's reconnect, reconfirm all the roots. And on the next breath in, lift up the right knee. Once again, we meet in airplane. And let's do a little bit of a funky play here. Imagine you're trying to reach something on the floor with your right hand. You don't have to reach it, you just have to go for it, keep your steady gaze towards the floor. And if you do manage to get your fingers on the floor, lift up the left arm here, and maybe even turn your gaze away from the floor. Notice how this changes the pose completely. Keep lifting that back leg here. Few more deep breaths wherever you are in this pose. Strong roots. And come back down. Challenge to come back without placing the foot on the floor. And release. Let's repeat. On the other side, lift up the left knee here. Feel the strong roots coming out from 
your right leg. Push back into airplane and everything here we're doing slowly, slowly, slowly. Noticing how the body is reacting. Face the left hand towards the earth, towards the floor, place the fingers down, lift up your arm and open up for your half moon, however it may look like. Few breaths here. And come back to full standing. Challenge without touching the foot to the floor. Beautiful. You can stay where you are. I'm just gonna turn here so that you see better the next poses we'll do together. Well done. Let's reconfirm the roots in our body. Let's catch our breaths. Feel the energy circulating in you right now. Feel how your shins, your ankles, your whole legs might be on fire. And notice maybe if that's creating some extra strength in your legs, in your roots, and in your whole body as a result of that. Well done. Let's meet in tree pose. So tree pose is okay to do wherever that's comfortable for you. You might be able to put your leg up all the way to your groin, or it might be at your knee or your shin. Whatever you do, it is welcome. Just make sure that wherever your pose is, you're opening up your knee to the side. You're not closing in into this pose. We want the body to be open in this stability. And so often when we work on stabilizing and realigning the nervous system, we need to open up the body, give it safety and get it out of the contraction and practice that stability in that relaxed and soft state. This is what is gonna make it comfortable for us, familiar for us and natural for the body. So open up for tree pose here, wherever that may be. And if this is enough for you, feel free to stay here with prayer hands or hands on your hips for stability for a few breaths. And if you want a challenge, let's lift up the arms to prayer pose, stretching out your whole back here and releasing it back down. Very slowly, once again, we do those movements as slow as possible to notice all the little wobbles that your body is going through. Notice all the stability that your left foot is fighting for here. And be with it. Know that it's okay to lose balance. And know that you have a way to find it back again in your body. Lift up one last time. And as you're here, Open up the arms into a T-shape and turn to open whole right side here, lifting up your right hand above your body, giving yourself a little balance challenge here. So what we want to do with these poses is to challenge your body, your, your balance, so that you see that it's okay to feel wobbly it's okay to feel challenged and you're still safe. You're still okay. Open up to the other side, lifting up the left arm above your head for a little side bend here, just to get a little bit of that challenging opening. Just to take your body onto the edge a tiny, tiny bit. Come back into prayer hands and Whenever ready, release the right leg back down. Let's repeat on the other side. Find your balance here. Open up the knee to the side. Prayer hands is an option. Lifting up the arms, 
as the next level, if that's okay for you. And go down with the breath. Finding safety in your own nervous system here, even though you're feeling the wobble. One last time into T arms. Lift up the left arm for a little side bend here. Distribute your weight enough so that you don't fall to the side here. Notice what it takes in your body to do that. Well done. Release the foot back down. And now lift up the right knee, open it up to the side. And whenever you reach your limit here, your hip doesn't allow you to go more, lift up the foot so it comes in line with your knee and drive it behind your body for a curtsy lunge. Place the foot down, and as you do, open up your arms. Feeling the beautiful stretch here in your whole side body. You can sway around a little bit, feel this stretch. And slowly lift up the right foot without touching the floor. Come back down the same way that you came. Let's repeat two more times. Lifting up, opening the knee to the side. And coming back into your curtsy, dipping the hips, lifting up the arms, perhaps opening the side body here, whatever feels good. And whenever you're ready for your balance challenge, push off and come back to center. It doesn't matter how this movement is looking for you. It's about developing that flow of balance, of stability in your body and enjoying some play along with it. Draw back down, open up for a stretch. and release back to center. Let's repeat on the other side. Lift up the left leg, open up the knee to the side. The foot comes in line with the knee. Drop back, arms lift up, softening the upper body, stretching the side body. Push off the right foot and come back down the same way that you came in. Two more times at your own pace, working with the breath here. Keep focusing on your body on the sensations and emotions that are arising in you. That's why we're meeting here, is to feel the collection of these bodies, the subtle body, the physical body, and release back down. Well done, let's meet in tabletop. For a little playful flow here, as you reach your tabletop position, lift up your left arm and your right leg here for a bird dog pose. Making sure that you're not rounding your back when you reach the top and 
you're also not coming down into complete compression here. We want to make sure that there's a straight line. It's as if someone's pulling you from the front and someone's pulling you from the back. Feel that stability here. Come back to center. Let's repeat five times, as slow as you can, and without moving much of your body beside your left arm and your right foot. Nothing else is moving. Imagine it's set in stone. And notice how your body is gonna start shaking and fighting for that movement here to gain that stability. Resist the urge to round the spine, to back bend, to lift more. All we want is gentle and soft. One last time. Open up and bring it down. You can notice how your belly is firing up, how your arms and your whole body is really fighting for movement in this pose. And what we want to do is show it that stability can be found in stillness. Let's repeat on the other side, lifting up the right hand and very slowly the left leg. Once again, bringing it back just into center, not compressing too much. The rest of your body, your pelvis, everything is stable and solid. Notice your breath, how it's shivering, how your muscles are shaking. Let them do that and still go with your intention of stillness and of stability. Two more times, slowly, slowly guiding the body where you want it to go. Last time, open up and release back down. Well done, take a breather if you need to, shake off your hands if you need to. And whenever you're ready, let's meet back in tabletop. And this time, turn your foot in line with your knee, your right foot in line with your knee. And let's open up here for a little supported side plank. Just feeling that side body here, stretched out wonderfully, beautifully soft. On the next in-breath, slowly lift up the left leg and hold for five breaths. Notice once again how your body is fighting for this balance, shaking all the muscle. Know that you can breathe through this and you can breathe yourself into balance. One more breath. Release back down and into tabletop. Stay where you are. I'm gonna turn so you can see better. Now this time, turn the left foot out so that the foot is in line with the left knee and open up for a nice supported side plank here. Enjoy the stretch of your body. And with the next in breath, lift up the right leg here. Activate it, perhaps push away your heel and feel your whole back body strong. You're almost at the end of this class. 
you can push through a few more challenging poses. Find the stability within you and release back down, slowly circling back to finish in tabletop pose once again. And when you take your breather and when you're ready, let's meet in high plank, lifting up your knees here, strong on your arms. And with the next in breath, lift up the left hand, left arm in front of you, hold for just one breath and release back down. Lift up the right hand, the right arm, release back down. I get a really nice flow here, sinking with your breath, with your body slowly, not crashing down your whole body, but just doing it softly and gently as if there's some cushioning here. Your body is that cushioning, your breath is that cushioning. Last time, lift up the right arm. Bring it back down, lower down to your knees and come back into nice and resting child's pose. Just for a few moments, stay in a child's pose, recentering. And whenever you're ready, turn around to meet in our last pose of Shavasana. Laying on your back, spreading your feet, letting them fall to the sides, opening up your palms to the sky. And perhaps it would feel good for you to put one hand on your heart, one on your belly. Whatever feels nice here, whatever feels supportive. And notice whatever is circulating in your body right now, all the energy that we worked up. Feel it going through your feet, your shins, your calves, your thighs, your whole pelvis, your belly, your chest, your arms, your neck, and your whole body. Feel that energy circulating through you, infusing you with more strength, to be stable, to be balanced, no matter what you're going through. And realize that you have the resources within you to realign your body, no matter how dysregulated, no matter how out of whack it's been thrown by your life's experiences. Your body is the home that you have to come to. Your body is the place that always has your best interest in heart. And it's where you can find all the support you need. And whenever you're ready, slowly roll back to your side. Lift yourself up to seat it. I want to thank you for joining me in this nervous system rebalancing class. I hope the poses were challenging and playful and fun for you. And see you in the next class.